Hi, this is Nathan, technical leader in the Customer Experience Centers. In this video, I'll provide a walkthrough on how to access and replace the dual inline memory module, or DIM, on the Catalyst 9600 Supervisor Engine 1. First, locate the supervisor modules that are part of the Catalyst 9600 chassis. The supervisor module can be located in slots 3 and 4. Once you have identified the supervisor modules, take necessary precautions to prevent electrostatic discharge or ESD damage. Wear a grounded ESD wrist strap while handling the supervisor module. Locate the ejector levers and pivot them away from the front of the supervisor module. Once you have done this, use both hands to carefully remove the module from the slot, supporting the module with both hands. Place the module onto a workbench and locate the DIM modules, which are located here. Carefully push down on the locking tabs for each slot, and then remove the DIM modules, handling the modules by their edges. Take the new DIM modules out of the ESD protective bags by the edges and line the module up with the slot, ensuring that the DIM module notch matches that of the slot. Be sure that it's centered between the latch locks. Firmly push the DIM modules straight down. It can take a little bit of force, but don't worry, this is normal. Once you hear a click, that is an indication the DIM modules are seated. Frequently, the locking tabs will pop up, locking the DIM modules into place. Confirm the DIM modules are secured. You are now ready to insert the supervisor module back into the slot. Pivot the left and right ejector levers away from the front of the module and hold them while sliding the module into the slot. Hold the supervisor engine front panel with one hand and place your other hand underneath to support the module. Position the supervisor module in the slot. Make sure that you align the sides of the supervisor module with the slot guides on each side of the chassis slot. Pivot the ejector handles inward after the supervisor engine slides in all the way. When installed correctly, the ejector catch pins on both ejector levers engage the chassis sides, and the injector levers are fully closed when they are flush with the module faceplate. This concludes the walkthrough on how to access and replace DIM modules on the Catalyst 9600 Supervisor Engine 1. Thanks for your time and attention.